This is Super Mario Brothers 3 for NES. I'm doing no warps, no death. Here we go. It is an attempt. Not a speedrun. This is just uh, more fucking around at my own leisure, trying to make it through the game without dying. So, this is not a, uh, it's not a thing where I care about how long it takes, it's just a matter of if I can do it or not. Uh, the other day I did DuckTales No Death. That's a good example of a game that is, um, it's easier to do because it doesn't take as long, you know? Or like, even Mario 1 doesn't take as long. But this, uh, you know, is a longer game. So some of these games that are longer are really, uh, make it a little more challenging because uh, of the length of the games. But we're gonna give it another shot. What's up, Nick Vic? Hey, ducking. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming in. Still skinny is here. How you doing, NASCAR freak? I better look at what I'm doing. Da -da -da -da. Justin Garbert. Thank you, Retro Bowser, for the Twitch Prime sub. Connorson. Carnage007. John Haynes. We got the we got the crew. Whoa, what's that? What the fuck? Is that a glitch? Good time to point out this is a real copy of the game. Um, what the fuck is that? Like, is that some kind of uh, secret or something, or is that just like the game glitching? That's a glitch all day long. It says I am sock. That's weird. I've never seen that. Let's see if I leave the screen and come back if it's still there. Oh no, it's gone. It's just that was weird. I've never seen something like that. Alright, there's always something new. This shit. Always something new. Somebody can explain that glitch to me. What's up, Nikki Fog? What happened yesterday when you got off? Uh, yeah, stream crashed on me yesterday. That sucked. I was... I was actually uh, doing pretty well. I was in near the end of World 5. Um, and before that, stream before that, I, I got to World 6. So, hopefully I have more luck today. And, uh, I can actually do this already. Yeah, it did, NASCAR freak. People are going to keep asking that over and over, so if anybody asks, you can tell them I already answered that question. <laughs> I appreciate it. But yeah, so it just it crashed. So anyway, we're back. Back again. But yeah, this is something that I want to do from beginning to end. Um, and oh, I didn't even mention, I, I, I said no, no warp, so no warp whistles or anything like that. But also I want to try to do all the stages as well. Because there's some stages that like you don't have to do. Sometimes the, there's like a fork in the path. And there's stages that you can skip, but I want to try to do all the stages. So. Oh shit. So that's what I'm attempting to do here. No warps, no death, all stages. And that is today's challenge. How loud did you yell fuck yesterday? Um, I, I'm sure that I did. I don't remember, but I'm sure that I did. I am sure that I did. 
you always do the stages. You always do all the stages, and yet you have no idea why you always have. Well, uh, that's good. You don't miss out on anything that way, right? So yeah, like I said, so uh, the end of World 6, the ice level, is where I've gotten to so far, and um, I haven't even made it to the seventh world, which is probably, I'm going to imagine, the one I'm going to have the hardest time with. Um, so yeah, I haven't even gotten to like the last couple levels that are, you know, the, the hardest levels, so... Uh, even if I make it there now, it's like I'm 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 in, I'm in for it, you know. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough, actually. Hopefully, I'll beat it tonight. Hopefully, I I really hope so because I'd like to move on to something else. I'm getting to that point. I was hoping. I feel like maybe I would have done it yesterday, but the thing didn't fucking crash on me. But I'd like to get this over with now. World 8 is like hell. Pretty much. I guess when they were designing it, they were like, well, what would Bowser's world be like? They're like, well, he's, he's evil and it's all lava, so it's basically like hell, right? I mean, that's, that goes back to when they made Mario 1, though. It's like when you go into Bowser's castles in Mario 1, it's like he's like a dragon-type character with lava, you know? So, yeah, when they made it into a bigger world, they definitely... They probably were thinking of hell. <laughs> Thank you, Wigs23, for the sub. This time I'll get it, you feel it? I hope so. I hope you're right, we'll see. Thank you, show nine 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 nine. Nine 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 nine. What would be the better sprite swap? Pee Wee and his bike in Paperboy or Excite Bike? <laughs> um Probably Paperboy, because there's more like characters all over the road. And with the houses and stuff, like you could put, you know, I don't know, Chuck's Bikorama in there and, uh, you know, the, the Magic Shop and all kinds of things. Like as Pee Wee's going down the street, I, I could imagine a lot that could be done. And with all like the, char like the characters. Uh, I might be able to stick him in there a little better. I probably would say it might work a little better with Paperboy. Probably. With PB delivering all the papers to everybody in his town, I guess. But really, with a, a Pee Wee game, um, I mean that would that would be cool as like a sort of a Pee Wee's Big Adventure type thing. I guess that's what you're thinking because it's a it's a bicycle. Um, he's also got the scooter too. It's got a magical surfboard too, by the way. And back to the beach. Nobody talks about the surfboard with like the handlebars. What happened to Pee Wee's surfboard? Is what I want to know. We know that the uh, Pee Wee's bike is in the Hollywood Museum out in L.A. If you want to know where Pee Wee Herman's bike is, that's where it is, on the top floor in the back. <laughs> Elvira's car is there too. But his um, his scooter. I have no idea, and his, um, what's it called, his, uh, the surfboard, I have no idea, I'd like to know where those are these days, if that survived. Did PB surfboard survive back to the beach? That's what I would like to know. Maybe Paul Rubens kept it. If I could ask Paul Rubens a question, that's what I would ask Paul Rubens. Where's the surfboard? <laughs> there you go, there's my question. Somebody, some, if you, if you, one of you guys ever talk to Paul Rubens, you get the chance, ask him where the surfboard is, and then let me know, because that's what I'd like to know. Where did it go? Where did it go? 
Bam-ba-dum. What the hell are you talking about? A surfboard? This is Mario. Somebody in the chat asked me a question about Pee Wee Herman and his uh, bike and a game about his bike. So I'm answering somebody's question in the chat. If you didn't know, this is a website called Twitch. And what these, what these are, these are called live streams. And what you do is somebody gets on camera, typically you play a video game, and there's this thing that you're actually typing in right now called a chat, and people can ask questions and state things, and then the streamer can then reply to them. That's how this works. So that's what was going on. Donnie Bark goes, whoa, holy shit, is that what this is? People are like, oh my god, that's crazy. Damn. <laughs> bum bum. Butt Wiggler, you're good. His name was Butt Wiggler, by the way. Is that Wiggler from Super Mario Brothers, but named after his ass? So like Wiggler's butt. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't the name be Wiggler's butt then, if that's what you were going for instead of Butt Wiggler? Butt Wiggler more implies like you are wiggling your butt. I think. Let's talk more about Butt Wiggler. I'd like to know. I'd like to know the origins. I would like to know what went through your mind when you came up with the name. Let's hear the origin story of Butt Wiggler. He says it was ori originally Dick Wiggler, but they made him change it. Ah. I'm, I'm sorry. You could not. You cannot have your, your name that you wanted. Life's not fair. Life's not fair, is it? And see what we're doing here? Or I'm talking to you about wiggling your butt. Now the next person's gonna come in to the stream and then immediately, and then they're gonna go, hey, this is Mario 3. Why are you talking about wiggling your butt? That has nothing to do with Mario 3. See how this works now? See? <laughs> Cock, Cock Gussler was the other name. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh. Do for a pause. The chat, the chat wants me to pause. But I'm on the menu here, so I don't even need to pause. It's even better. Thank you, Sonic Dam 132 for the tier one sub. Jizz Juggler. Jizz Juggler. I thought you were going to say Jizz Guzzler. But j Jizz Juggler. Be juggling Jizz. That'd be, maybe that could be a good Batman villain in like a Batman porn parody. They say that the guy who was in, I guess, the porn, the Joker in the porn parody was the guy that they modeled that off of in the Mortal Kombat game. If they do another Batman porn parody, I think, you know, they used to create new. Batman villains like all the time, especially back in like the you know 60s and 70s. It was always like this guy and that guy and that guy, like Egghead and this guy. Do they still create like new Batman villains? By the way, I, I was thinking about that the other day because it's always you always got like the Joker and Mr. Freeze. It's like all the ones we already know. When was the last new Batman villain? I would like to know. What was the last time Batman had a new villain? Like a new crazy one. Not just like who's like a, just a dude. Well, you know, like something like wild. I'd really like to know. And I think the next one should be the Jizz Juggler. Thank you, Alvinus1 for the sub. You like Clayface? But Clayface is from like... 20 something years ago, 25 years ago, or whatever. They were, that's like the 90s. Well, I'll come back 
in a minute. So that's my question for you guys. What was the last, like, wacky Batman villain that was created? Somebody look that up and let me know. I think they need to get back to that, because it's like... Joker's fine, Penguin's fine, all those guys. Like we all we all love those characters, but I think we need some new we need some new blood. Some new villain blood out there. Let's get some new characters. I'd like them to bring it back to like how it was in the nineteen fifties and sixties when it was just completely fucking out of control. And just like you look at an issue of Batman and it's like Batman with like fucking aliens and UFOs and all whacked out kind of fucking shit. I, w I wanted to go through another wacky period. Kite Man. You think the last new villain was Harley Quinn? Well, if that's true, that's not new either. That's another one from 20 whatever years ago. Talon. Some people are saying Talon. Is that a Batman villain? I'm gonna look that up. Talon? Is that a Batman villain? I don't even know Talon. Let's see. Talon. Talon Batman. Throughout the Court of Owls' existence. Talon's a All right. When was this character created? 2011, first appearance. All right, so so we have a character uh, called Talon from 2011. We got any new m more guys after that? How about after 2011? Anybody else after that? Zelda lover, thank you very much for the tier one sub. See, this would be a good topic for Tony. He, he would probably know the answer to this. Because he, he keeps track of all that kind of stuff. <laughs> He's my go-to guy with that. I'm going to have to ask him, but I'm going to put him on the spot. And you know what he's going to tell me? He's going to be like, oh, it was the Jizz Juggler. That son is a dick. Hush. A couple people said hush. All right, let's see. Is that it? Well, they say hush is a film. Is that also a character? I don't know about that. Batman hush. That's from... See, that's from 2000 and... 2003 so that's that's even older so if that's older then the other then Talon would be newer because Talon I was 2011 they're saying Hush was earlier than the Talon guy yeah exactly so I didn't know about either one of these guys but anyway so there you go I guess I'll have to look into those characters Hush and Talon don't know anything about it but where is the 2019, 2020 brand new Batman villain? That's what I want. The Jizz Juggler. Thank you, In Yugi, for subbing for 28 months. Appreciate that very much. Circle hair guy, thank you. <laughs> the designer is the newest. Oh, here we go. Origin of the designer, new Batman villain, March 2020. This looks like it might be the answer. What does this guy look like? He's got like bandage around his head or something. 
Batman reveals the designer's true identity. If he pulls off his mask and it's like the fucking Joker, I just... <laughs> you better not be. It's like, haha, it was really the Joker. <laughs> Fuck. Mike, can you tell us some random Pee Wee Herman facts? It says J Balls. Um, random Pee Wee facts. Uh, the first season of Pee Wee's Playhouse was filmed in an apartment in New York City, and they had a problem with their air conditioner when they shot it. And they had to get a big uh, air conditioning like unit installed, and it was a big problem uh, with the area, and they had to like block off traffic and shit. Is that random enough? Um, what else? What else do I got you? Got for you another Pee Wee thing. Um, I don't know. He was in a he was in a bunch of Cheech and Chong movies. tried T Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Hidden Treasure on Genesis. Um, you know, I tried... I beat the first... Okay, so with Tiny Toons, I beat the NES game, the first one, which was... That game's tough. That's a tough game. I'd like to try that again someday, actually. Come back to that, because that was a long time ago. But, um... That game was tough. Um... Then the second one, I have not... On NES, I haven't. I played it, but very little. Uh, and I think I like it. I should actually um, play that more. Uh, and then there's the Super Nintendo one, which I I need to practice because I had like a kind of hard time controlling it. Um, so I just I I didn't own it or anything, so I need to like you know practice it a little bit. But I'd like to play that a little bit more. And then the Genesis one, off the top of my head, I don't remember. I, pr I would imagine I probably tried it out on one of my Genesis, like, EverDrive streams. Uh, but, yeah, I don't remember that one. So uh, I'll just say no to that. Um, so at, at some point I should probably do some kind of Tiny Tune stream again. Let me go up this way, I guess. Actually, what's that way if I go that way? That'll be wasting a thing. I know the whistle's that way. I think there's still another thing over there that I could get. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, there's a there's a toad house. I'm not sure if it was worth a hammer though, so. Thank you, Larka. What do you think about the possible return of the G4 channel? Uh, I never watched it back when it was originally on, so it means nothing to me. Um, I don't even have television, because I don't watch TV anymore. So, doubly on top of it, it means nothing to me. Uh, honestly. Uh, I have not. I, I didn't watch it. I have nothing to say about it. Uh, as far as like video game related television stuff, like I liked fucking uh, like Starcade in the early '80s. Starcade's cool. I like Video Power, uh, Legend of the Hidden Temple, and shit like that. Like in the '80s and '90s. But like once it got to like G4, T, I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't care. I didn't watch that. So, yeah. <laughs> Honestly. But I'm totally down with some, like, Nick Arcade. All that stuff. Legend of the Hidden Temple. All those fucking shows. Out of all those, though, definitely, without a doubt, my favorite is Starcade. I like when they, you know, they play the old, the old machines. And then they had a part where they would have 
different games on the wall, and you'd have to, the kids would have to pick which game it was. It wasn't actually always kids. Sometimes it was adults. I watched an episode where it was an adult versus a kid, actually. It was like a mother and then a younger kid. Um, anyway, and then they were doing, um, the, you know, it'll come up on the thing, and the guy's like, is this Frogger or is this Frogbug? Or whatever. <laughs> um... And the kid be like, it's Frogger, it's Frogger! It's like, that's right, what does he win? I like that show. So that's my answer to uh, your question about G4 TV coming back. Uh, my answer is, I like uh, Starcade from the early 80s. <laughs> that's my answer for you. My answer for you is to go on YouTube, find old Starcade episodes and watch that. Make yourself a bowl of popcorn and enjoy, or whatever, whatever snack you like. <laughs> Hello Raiders, I am Cock. What's up Psychotic Cock? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in, Psychotic Cock. What about fruit? I just some guy. He's like, hey, fruit roll-ups. Remember, remember those. Remember fruit roll-ups, Mike. Those are pretty nostalgic, aren't they? Huh? Remember that fucking bubble yum? Bubble tape? Hey, Mike. Bubble tape. Talk about that. Talk about that. Now, I want to hear all your thoughts on bubble tape. Did you have it? Did you like it? Do you like bubble tape? How about, how about slap bracelets? Whoosh. Remember those? Fruit by the foot. Nerds candy. Alf or gummy bears? Nikki, can you take care of that? Fruit by the shit. Glow worms. Glow, glow worms. Um, I was. What was I playing? I was playing. Um, I know what it was. It was uh, fucking Half-Life. Half-Life 2, recently. I had to think about it for a second. And hanging from the ceiling, they basically... The chat was saying that the things in Half-Life 2 are glow worms. Which are things that are hang from the ceiling and piss. And they're in... I think I read it was New Zealand? So... Growing up in the 80s, I turn on the television or whatever, and you see commercials for like the glow worm toys and all the glow worms. And I didn't know that glow worms were an actual fucking thing. So I thought that that was like a fucking whatever. Something at Toys R Us or KB or some shit. Like, I didn't fucking know. Thank you, Swag and NYC for the sub. Garbage Pail Kids. Garbage Pail Kids. I had a lot of those as a kid. I liked those. I went through a short Garbage Pail Kid phase as a kid, and I loved them. Loved the art. And, um... I remember that they had a movie, and I didn't like the movie. And I was... I remember being disappointed because I really liked the cards. And I think they really, uh... Missed the mark, dropped the ball on that one, unfortunately. But the cards and the art is amazing. Thank you, G Bella. Talk about cereal. G Bella wants cereal talk. All right. Um, 
can I do for cereal? What can I talk about cereal that I haven't talked talked about? I feel like every time I talk about cereal, I just talk about the fucking Captain Crunch. Uh, which people, by the way, sent me pictures of that. Um, I should I should I should show you guys that actually. Um, people actually did send me pictures of the Christmas Captain Crunch with the with the frosting and it and it definitely looked fucking gross. A you know what? After this beat, I after I beat this level, I will I'll, sh I'll take the two seconds and I, I I'm gonna show it to you guys because as many times as I've mentioned it, I never had a picture. But now I know that there's a picture, so hang on a second. So I'm gonna show you guys this. Hopefully I'm gonna show it. E I got it. All right, so when I was, whatever, a teenager, I think it was in the 90s, I got this, and this is one of the most disgusting things that I ever fucking ate in my life. Um, this was Kip, uh, uh, Captain Crunch. Christmas Captain Crunch cereal. And so here it is, this is, Christmas Captain Crunch cereal. Now, what I want what I want to point out is I want you to look at this frosting. This is the frosting. This is what it looked like, and this is exactly what I remember. It came in a package in the box like that, with the white frosting, and then you put it all over your cereal. And if you're imagining what I'm imagining, and I know that you are, that's about what it tasted like, too. So, it's, um, is fucking gross, basically, is what I'm trying to say. It was, uh, it's probably the worst thing I ever ate that I can think of off the top of my head. So, do you wonder why they never brought that back? And uh, Jazz in my chat says, come on cereal. That's right. That's what we were talking about. That's right. Part of a complete breakfast. All right. Anyway. This is Super Mario Brothers 3. I am attempting a no death run of the game. This is a longer game here than some of the no death stuff I've been trying, so it's been taking me a while. But one of these days, one of these days, we'll, we'll get through this, I hope. Maybe. Maybe. Segue. Thank you. That's the, that's the way I do it. It's a good transition, right? My transition goes from, yeah, come on cereal. This is Ma Super Mario Brothers 3 game. If, if somebody in the chat can tell me a better way to segue from Mario, from, from talking about come to Jumping into a no death run of Mario 3, I, I'm all I'm all yours. There's probably something in the middle I could have put in there that I haven't quite figured out. Super Mario Brothers 3 cereal. Yeah. So I could have been like, yeah, come on cereal. Remember Super Mario cereal? Speaking of Mario, I'm doing a no death run. See? No, that is a little it's a little better. It's a little better. It's not much better, but it's slightly better. 
I just personally say, like, fuck that. Like, I just, because I don't care. So, fuck the segue. I like, I like the way I did it better. Come on, cereal. This is, this is Mario 3. I'm playing Mario 3. The way I did it was better. I don't need a segue. I don't want the segue. It's like, I feel that way also with, a lot of times with, uh, uh, com comic strips. It's like, so if the gag in the Garfield strip is Garfield is gonna kick Odie off the table, right? But it's always some other fucking setup. It's like, how about skip all that? Just have the first fucking panel just be uh, him kicking the fucking Odie off the table and have the second panel be a different gag and have the third panel be another gag. Then you get, then you get tr three gags for the price of one comic strip. Who the hell needs the setup? Just to fucking, just show us the gag. Be funny. Fuckers. I want, I want three punchlines with no setup. That's what I want. Fuck, fuck the setup. That's the way I do it. It's, it's called, it's a new, it's a new form of writing that I call not caring at all. Oh shit. And, ignore, and ignoring all uh, previous forms of how you're supposed to do things. Be my own trendsetter. What about, what's this about Bill Murray? Testing fate with the big fish. Hey, you're not wrong, man. Yeah, it's Bertha. Big Bertha. shoots the fireball. It looks like he's shooting it from his nose. Sometimes the fireball's green. Be like a snot ball coming out of his nose. It's like sneezing. I mean, that's what it really is. Maybe those are bloody boogers. Maybe that's what they are. Maybe it is. Burn, oh, b burning boogers. Okay, could be that. We're, we've su suddenly reverted to being <laughs> not uh, not twelve-year-olds, but <laughs> now we're now we're five-year-olds. I bet those are boogers coming out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, they're boogers. Can you see the blowjob pumpkin? The blowjob pumpkin is in my uh, building where I keep the fucking Halloween shit. Um. So, in some fucking tub bin somewhere, so, maybe when I break out all my Halloween shit for October, I'll get that. Bum, ba bum storage unit. No, it's not a storage unit. I just, I have a place to keep all my shit. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. What about Mr. Bucket? What about Mr. Bucket? <laughs> Mr. 
That's exactly it. Did I see they already got the Halloween candy out in stores? I did see that they have um, some Halloween decorations out, actually. Um, which I was surprised. So I got, they're already putting the Halloween stuff out. Which I have no problem with that. Put it out there. Keep it out. It's fine with me. That's the one I don't mind them starting early. That's the only one I don't mind them starting early. It's not even the middle of the summer. I know. I know. I, I saw... I swear to God, today, I saw uh, the fucking Halloween decorations out. That's like really early. Usually it's like, maybe by... August? Um, I mean, yeah, I guess we're almost into August. But I, what I meant was, like, maybe, like, the end of August, like, early September. But, yeah, it was, it was, like, really fucking early for that. It's actually weird. But, I don't know. It didn't bother me, though. I was like, oh, Halloween stuff. <laughs> so. I have so much Halloween shit. I should do all an entire, I should bring all of my Halloween, here's what I should really do. I should get all of my Halloween shit and put it in a big fucking stack in here and just do an entire stream where I just show you guys Halloween shit because it is, uh, it is, it's like, it's like, it's a, it's a problem. It's this, it's like disgusting and I love Halloween, but even I look at, I look at my stuff and I'm like, I have a problem. It's like bad. So. Yeah, I need to like actually get rid of some Halloween stuff. I came to a point with that where I was like, I, this is like a little bit bored, even for me. So. What I, sh what I should at least do is go through and get th rid of some of the stuff that's like not as good as some of the other stuff, I guess. But, like, a lot of, like, I'm I'm not gonna get rid of all my, like, vintage Halloween shit, because I love that. But I have some, I have some Halloween stuff that I'll just, like, buy at stores or whatever. Then I'm like, I don't need this fucking, like, spooky tree thing. Like, you know. And I have so many Halloween blow molds. Basically, I think I have them all pretty much. If you ever saw a Halloween blow mole, I have it. It's, it's a problem. So, and then, and then I know some of you guys are going to be like, blow mold, haha, or like, what's that? Blow molds are the things that you put out front of your house and they light up and it's like shaped like a ghost or like a pumpkin or a cat or whatever, those fucking things. I have them all. It's like fucked up. It's fucked up. I'm keeping those though, they're cool. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna keep everything. I'm not gonna get rid of anything. It's all staying. I just decided. I'm not, get, I'm not getting rid of anything. <laughs> I'm gonna buy more, actually. That's <laughs> what's gonna really. That's what's gonna. You wanna know what's actually gonna happen. What do you think of the new Star Trek animated series? I, here's the only thing I want to say about it. I'm not talking about it. Because it doesn't deserve to be fucking talked about. Just like all this fucking new Star Trek shit. That's it, done. On to another subject. I'm fucking done with that shit. I could go on a rant, but I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, we're not having yet another Star Trek rant. I'm not doing it today. 
think you guys that have been in my streams get the idea by now. So fuck, I'm not going there. Next subject, what else you guys got? See, you set me up for distraction too and I'm not falling for it anymore. Thank you, Zaboof, for subbing with Twitch Prime. How far have I made it in Gauntlet? That's a better question. Um, I don't know uh, exactly. Um, but I have made a few attempts to make it like a little bit deeper into the game. And I only really tried like once. This was not on stream, I don't think. Um, but I tried to start learning like the, the secret, like you know where there's like exits and, and the, how it goes to the map. And I tried to start like figuring all, all that out. So I don't know exactly how far I got. Uh, but uh, like I said, that's on my bucket list so one day I'll get to that and we'll we'll look deeper into gauntlet <laughs> Mr. Big Titties says he tried sucking his own dick once but it was too small okay why do some of the big worlds have huge piranha plants coming out of the pipe, but some have normal sized ones coming out of them? I was talking about that yesterday. Um, I think it's because Mario needs to be able to jump over them. Like if it's a taller pipe and then, and then on top of that, a bigger piranha plant came out, I don't think he'd be able to jump over it. So I think they had to make some of them smaller. That would be my only guess as to why they did that. I think it's a little weird. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's the difference between the green turtle and the red turtle? Well, they're Koopas. Um, is there any difference? I don't, I don't know that there is. I, don't, I, I just, for variation, I don't think there, that's, a, that's actually a good question. I don't think, I don't think there is a difference, is there? Green walks off the ledges and red doesn't. There you go, that's true. The green guys walk off the, off the ledges. The green guys have a death wish. I forgot to program a, the big plant, <laughs> Miyamoto. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, Miyamoto. What was the what was the deal with that? Not that he was even the guy that fucking was the programmer on it. I like how we just like use Miyamoto as like as if he like was sitting there doing every single fucking thing. to imagine that though. He did, he did it all. There was no other people involved. Why are the thwomps? the candles, and the boom boom, not giant? It's another good question. Yeah, what the fuck? Why is the uh, Lakitu right there not giant? Isn't this giant world? Why is like 40% of the shit in giant world giant? Everybody says that this is their favorite world, for the most part. 
Well, what, what do you have to say about that? How most of the shit isn't actually giant? This pipe right here isn't fucking giant. The fuck? The fuck is going on? Are you happy with the Switch in 2020 game-wise? Games-wise? Um, I mean, if you're talking about all the games that have come out since they launched it, sure, there's a lot of stuff on there, that's cool. The new, new thing that just came out is that Pan, uh, Panzer Paladin thing, which maybe I'll try out. Um, but there, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff on there now. And that's a very, I like that you said games-wise. Games-wise, there's a bunch of shit on there. Absolutely. I have a lot, I have a lot of games, like, downloaded on my Switch. Now that I have a working one. Panzer Paladin's harder than you thought it would be. Yeah, uh, for you guys that have uh, tried the game, do you, do you guys like Panzer Paladin? Like, how is it? Should I, should I get it or not? Anybody care about it? What happened to my other Switch? It randomly died. It just died. And it never would come back on. And I tried many times to, you know, whatever. I've been through that discussion. a new Buffy the Vampire Slayer game, says Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, my girlfriend would probably like that. She liked Buffy a lot. I didn't really watch Buffy. Uh, I have seen an episode of it. I don't really know much uh, about it. It's just like a, you know, it's a vampire or whatever show from the 90s, which is fine. Um, Sort of like a goofy, goofy kind of vampire show. Uh, I remember back in the '80s seeing uh, the the movie. Um, oh boy, I want to get killed here. Like the really, really old movie. So I don't really know much about Buffy the Vampire Slayer myself. Fuck the frog suit, I swear to God, I should just... Here. <laughs> Fucking frog suit. Almost was the end of me right there. See, that's the giant piranha plant. They should all look like that. God damn it. Or there's there's this. Oh, it can be small, Mario. You can, you can change them. I don't even know, why did they bother to do that? I don't know. Like... Go in the magic door and the Koopa turns into a little Koopa again. Okay. I feel like you should go through the door and the the Koopa that's already big is now really, really big. That, like, that would have been cooler. Like you open the, you, you go through the door and it's like a fucking like gigantic one. And then you have to run back through the door or something. Okay, Ryan, uh, 64, I, I read it. You're good. Uh, this one, I feel like a better... I'm gonna use this. Bum, 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 bum. This is gonna be... Oh, no, I don't want that. Mm-hmm. 
do you think it would be possible a small only no death run or definitely not possible um shit no that's definitely something i want to try uh at some point so i guess before i had said i also want to do a, a no power up run um so i did i have mentioned that uh, that is that is also something I would like to try, like small Mario, uh, Super Mario 3 run as well. But right now, I'm trying to do this. So, one like I said, one thing at a time. Isn't this level where you have to fly up in order to get the goal? Um, I'm trying to think of what one you're talking about. Um, there's a, there's, oh, I, I think I, you're talking about the one on the ice world where you gotta grab the, the Koopa and fly up. Nah, it comes later, if that's the one you're talking about. All right, let me double check all this. I think I did everything. We're not going to those spade things. Cool. All right, let's get through. Giant world. You're good, uh, P64. Have I played Blasphemous? I did. I tried. Uh, I tried that out for a while off stream. I didn't stream it, but um, it seemed pretty cool. It's pretty pretty cool. I don't, uh, I don't think I'm going to stream it, but it's all right. I played it for about an hour off stream to try it out as people were talking about it. What conventions have I gone to? A lot. Have I ever watched Angry Video Game Nerd? Um, yep, I have actually. I have, uh, I have, I have seen that, and I have watched it. It's good. It's great. You should go watch it right now. Don't skip the ads either. Thank you, Davy Boy Smith, for seven tier one. Another thing, by the way, if you happen to have ad block, uh, that's fine because as long as you're watching the video, it helps the watch time anyway. So, thanks. Can't get away with it. Can't get away with not paying. should have had more time in the movie in the movie oh no i was good that was more than enough that was more than i wanted anyway people were like are you gonna be in the movie are you gonna be in the movie are you gonna be in the movie i'm like jesus fucking christ i guess james is like you gotta fucking just she's like just sit over here just sit there and fucking just do anything i'm like okay he's like he's like just yeah that's good okay we're good put that in there I'm like, can I please not be? Can you do the Bugs Bunny impression? Maybe later. Yeah, maybe later, Doc. Sit there and pretend to dance. Dance like a monkey! <laughs> Most people dream of being an actor. Mike is like, just let me play games. That is exactly what it is. That is 100% what it is. That's the reality. I'm like, can I just fucking play this? Please. Please. That's all I want. That's all I want. It's the only thing. I'm good on all the rest. Pretty much. Pretty 
pretty much. Punky Brewster? What about Punky Brewster? The piranhas are cute. <laughs> I feel like Mike enjoys the comments as much as we do. Uh, you mean that you're talking about in the chat? Yeah, I, I love I love doing this. The playable piranha plant in Super Smash Brothers is from this game. Okay. I did not know that. Why do you remember the line, what's up, cock? Does that really stick out to you? Does the cock really stick out in your in your mind? Oh my god. Marius4560 says he, that he's drunk. That's okay, Marius. The majority of people in my streams are drunk. You're 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 at home. It's like seventy-five percent. I think I've, I've I've figured out at this point. Hey, hey Mike, what's your favorite game? What game do you like? I I bet it's Zelda. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Bet you like that, Zelda. <laughs> Your favorite drink is Zelda? Your favorite drink is Zelda? Well, have a Zelda on me. <laughs> Psychotic Cock wants to get drunk now. Is BS Zelda awesome? Um, it was all right. I don't know. Is it awesome? I didn't really think so. It was okay. It was a uh, interesting novelty, I guess. You know it's BS Zelda. BS. Not being able to curse because of fucking advertising or whatever. That's BS. That's BS. Shit. Fucking shit. Fuck, now I don't have the... made it through that a little bit better than I thought I was going to. That little, where you have to jump out and come back and get the thwomp to come down can be tough. What did I think of the Link's Awakening remake? I thought that was, that's really cool. Um, I, I mean, I'd prefer them to just be making brand new. In a perfect world, what they would do is it wouldn't have just been a remake. It would have been, I really like that game in that style. Um, I think that that's fantastic that they did that. But I like new like levels and new, um, basically that it wasn't like Link's Awakening. I, now that they did that though, what I'd like them to do is create another game in that exact same style, Top Town Zelda for the Switch, but have it be totally new. Like new story, new levels, new new everything, and don't have it be like Link's Awakening. But I, but it's cool. It's really cool that they did that, and I think that it was a perfectly fitting um, style. And I was ha I was happy to see like a top-down Zelda game again, uh, helicopter view, uh, you know, on the actual console tablet, whatever we want to call it. Whatever. It's not going to that. Shoe level, the Kubaru shoe. You want Zelda 2 2? 
Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That, so you want Zelda, Zelda two dash two? So you want Zelda three? Is what you want? That's I, you know, I, I would like to see that happen too. Just flat out side scrolling, like that'd be that'd be good. I, I would love to see them delve back into two D two D like side scrolling shit again. That'd be nice. Like, I, I love what they do with the new Super Mario Brothers games. I wish they would just... I wish there was just, like, a thing with Nintendo that they would just put out, like, side-scrolling games still, like, on a continual, like, basis. You know? And also... And ha and have the, have the 3D ones, that's fine, but, like, can we just have side-scrolling ones? Not like it's, like... Because new Super Mario Brothers, it's like, it's it's new, it's back again, the old retro style. It's like, yep, yeah, can we just have that be all the time, though? They need gimmicks. Yeah, well, they can fucking, they certainly try gimmicks all the time. You know what we thought of this week? Cardboard. That's great. Good job. stream anyway I didn't well I'd have to like uh, I'm not buying that shit I have to get it from somebody it's fucking shit all over that thing I, sh I should do a labo fucking stream maybe I'll do that with Tony get the labo fucking trash and take a look at take a look at it Here's a fucking. How much is that shit? I'm I'm looking that up. How how much are they fucking selling that shit for? Like if you want that. Nintendo Labo Robot Kit, fifty eight dollars. Now. Are they still even doing this? It seems like they got like two products on it. Nintendo Labo Vehicle Kit. It's like a it's like a cardboard steering wheel or something. And then there's like a VR. There's like a cardboard VR thing. The fuck? Now. I don't even see like the regular Nintendo Labo thing on there. I don't know. Maybe they're not even selling it anymore. I, I don't. I don't. You know what? I don't. I haven't been keeping track. Of what the fuck's going on with their fucking cardboard products? Haven't been looking actually. I keep tabs on what Nintendo's doing with their fucking cardboard. $50 for a piece of fucking cardboard, my chat says. Kosh1701, 1701. I bet you he's a Star Trek fan. I bet you. Hey, kids, pay $100 to use your imagination. How about, like, okay, how about this? You order something online, like off Amazon or something. Your parents order something. The cardboard box comes in the mail. Give your kid that. And be like, here's some tape and here's some whatever safety scissors. Build something. 
You wanna you wanna actually use your imagination? Impress me. Use your imagination with the fucking bo with the cardboard box we got off of Amazon and build something cool. That that would be a lot more impressive than like oh, use these pre program pre made like fucking planned thing and just like copy it and then hey look it's a steering wheel because that's what that's what it is that's what was in the box like if you're gonna really fucking make something I think there's a guy on YouTube who actually I think he uses cardboard I might be wrong but I think he uses cardboard to make levels out of like let's say Sonic the Hedgehog and then he has like his hamster go through it and shit Take a bunch of cardboard and build like the fucking mushroom kingdom with it or something like that That would be a lot better. I would rather sit and do that Or there's another guy that does like an it was like somebody who like animates with uh, cardboard and Oh god, what game is it? Oh, I can't remember right now, but I saw it just recently. It was another cardboard like animation thing. I saw Maybe somebody knows what I'm talking about it's actually not the hamster thing. There's another. There's another thing with cardboard. I'll never fucking remember it. Oh, the inventory stuff. All right. It's just I don't know what levels. I guess I could get hit immediately. I'll do it here. Fuck! Exactly what I didn't want. I'm gonna get hit on purpose. Okay. This fucking no death run now. Motherfucker. Get out of here. Bowling ball bitch. That was the worst fucking place to use a fucking. Oh my god, my hands are fucking wet now. <laughs> that was the fucking skin on my balls right there. Let's try it again. Fuck it. Good. This is a better place to do this. Oh, yes. Ah. That's where it helps to know which levels are which. Hey Mike, ever do the frog suit challenge in Mario 3? If you haven't, it'd be entertaining for us. <laughs> I like how you say for us. <laughs> um, I guess what? Once you get to level 3, then you get the frog suit and try to keep the frog suit the whole game? Or if you happen to get hit, you gotta like put the frog suit back on or something. Is that what the challenge is? I don't know exactly what it is. <clears throat> There's probably somebody who made a fucking hack where you could just be the frog suit the whole game, I bet. Not a bad idea, actually, either. A lot of good ideas going on. Mm. That's not good. At all. At all. Oh, please, God. That's a big deal. Oh, God, I 
and get hit by that. <sighs> All right. That was like, I grazed that fucking fireball. Like it was fucking uh, Toho bullet hell grazing the bullets. Oh, oh you could use the game genie to have the frog. Where my game genie is. I got it somewhere. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Have I actually played Toho? I have, yeah. I have indeed. I have a stream on it, I did at some point. Somewhere. Alright, um. comfortable with that, so I'm just gonna go for that. I didn't know that was so close or whatever. And I know that Tanuki Suit can turn into the fucking thing. I know. Oh shit. Oh shit. Whew. Wow. Very close. Thank you very much, uh, 69 Crush Nuts 420 for gifting out subs to the community. He gifted out subs to Ken underscore NT, Edmund Haley, Hammer Squirrel, Subdudes, Afterlife, Rhinezor, Wash Farm, Corpse Fingers, Mewtwo PB, and Tutorial Territorial Crow. If you guys got a gift sub from 69 Crush Nuts 420, please say thank you. And thank you, 69 Crush Nuts 420. See, so yeah, I can be a game show host. Peter Tamarkin. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Once again, 69 Crush Nuts 420. Very much appreciate that. <sighs> if he would have shot out a fireball there, I would have been fucking dead. All right. Thank you, Nut Sack for subbing tier one. Thank you very much for that tier one sub for four months. Thank you, Nutsack. All right, here we go. This is about where the stream crashed on me before. $25,000 pyramid. My, what is my favorite world in this game? Um, pro honestly, probably this one I just did. Or the ice world. Maybe it's the Ice World. One of those ones, I think. Cla cloud or Ice? I'm gonna pick one of those. There's a question mark after the thing. I think it's on this one. Nope. All right. All right, Roy. 
I believe this is Roy anyway. <sighs> gotcha. On to the ice world once more. favorite thing about this game says hog splash how you doing hog splash um least favorite i know the answer thought of it uh it's actually gonna be coming up on this world uh there is uh, a stage coming up where you have to grab a koopa and fly up you have to run with the Koopa shell and hit B and then you have to tap the A button fast to fly up and I don't like doing that motion with my hand it's just uncomfortable and I dread doing it and you have to do it there uh, that's my least favorite part of this game uh, having, to, having to do that motion because I find it uncomfortable. And I will point out the part when I'm doing it. I don't mind the stage or anything. I just don't like, uh, I don't like, gra I don't like grabbing the shell. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have, shit. I wish I wouldn't have changed that from, oh boy. The fire flower. Uh, I don't like grabbing a shell and flying with it. That motion is very easy if you just flex and stretch the tip of your thumb. That's how you do it. Claw grip, but like, yeah, you can do like this kind of thing too, but like, I don't know, I'm not used to doing that, so I'd probably get myself killed trying, trying that kind of shit. I don't have an answer for you, Yellow Freeze. I don't know. I don't know what you mean, uh, Retro Gamer 80. Who are you talking about? Can you please pass the jelly? <laughs> yeah. So there's a, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, um, commercial from the late 80s, early 90s, Palaner All Fruit, and the commercial went like this. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a fancy restaurant. And they're all like, you know, in fucking tuxedos and suits and shit, and they're having like breakfast. And like, would you please pass the planner all fruit? 
Could you please pass me the plan or all fruit? <laughs> Would you please pass the all fruit? And then it gets to the last guy, and the last guy's more like me. And he's like, Would you please pass the jelly? And then the old lady like fall, falls back in her chair on the ground, and she like passes out. <laughs> it's fucking so stupid. But yeah. Old commercials. Am I right? Am I really a retro gamer? I don't believe that. Why? Well, that's weird. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, right now, um, Blake and I, <laughs> we're, we're going back and forth. We're trying to figure out, um, Blake sold a... a hi, hi Billy Mitchell stream. Idaho, and we're trying to figure out what is the best way to get a Donkey Kong over there. And unfortunately... I don't know, I guess they're watching me. Going, so we've been con I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the game, but that... I don't know. Streaming's crazy. I, mean, I did. I did that one time. I put um, I think Aaron's stream on. Um, in the corner of mine. I don't. That's really. No. Fourth wall break, yeah. I remember, uh, many, many, many years ago, I went to a convention, and I saw, uh, oh shit, ooh, jeez, I saw Walter Day, uh, uh, refereeing, I've seen him at a, a couple cons a few times, uh, refereeing um, some competitions and stuff like that, but, um, you know. Hang on, I, I need to focus or I'm going to die here. I think there was a. Let me go back. I hope this doesn't. Ah, I hope this doesn't mess me up. <laughs> I can't get back under. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Give me that. Not good. Not good at all. That's some pretty lousy Mario playing right there. Here's boom boom. Clonk. <laughs> Thank you, Shishi. Thank you, Bat Conquer. Yeah, it was close. Bum, 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 bum. All right, here we right there. Mm. Uh, 
Oh god. If that flips me down into the abyss. Oh! <sighs> ba 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 bum. Play some Mega Man X as one up king. I, uh, I've done Mega Man X already though. And I even did the, I got the Hadouken, which I know I was calling the fireball the whole time. Sorry. Mike, it's the fireball! I mean, it's the Hadouken! I did it. That's in uh, Armored Armadillo's level. Uh, where is this? Right here. I think it's, now I'm trying to remember. You like jump, you have to like jump off the cliff in Armored Armadillo stage or something at the, la at the last moment. Like you jump off of the, the, um, the little platform that's going down the road. Whatever you want to call it. I think that's what you do at least, going back to that. And I think, I, by the way, I think I also did Mega Man X2. I don't remember if I beat it or not, but I think I didn't like that one as much, and I don't think I've, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think I've done X3. Hadouken isn't even the right way to say it. If you play some later Street Fighter game, it's whatever. I'm not. I'm gone. I'm pronounce it wrong. I pronounce it wrong. I'm sorry. You get the idea. You know what I'm talking about. I can't pronounce it right. I'm not going to pronounce it right. And then if I say it the way you want me to say it, then there's going to be another person who says, "Oh, that guy said it wrong, and you're saying it wrong." And it's just a big argument that goes back and forth about how you say it. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I said it wrong. You get the idea. You you know the thing that I'm talking about is the point. <laughs> it's like every time we do a video, uh, talk about like Street Fighter, and then get into that, and like and James will be like, you know, he'll say like Ryu or Ryu or Ryu or whatever. It's like you know the character we're talking about. You know, it's like, I, I don't know what to tell you. This is the part I'm, I was talking about, by the way. Here we go, right here. This is the motion I don't like, I don't like to do that. That was the part. So that, that was the one part of Mario 3 I don't like doing. <laughs> Other than that, I'm, I'm good. What is Mike talking about? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hardest stage if you're trying. The messenger has stupid cartoony dialogues. That game was annoying because of it. it says Death Nation. Okay. Um. I don't know. I, I I mostly enjoyed that game. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to it, but it was uh, it was fun. Mega Man X5 is where the bullshit starts. Yeah, Mega Man X5, uh, I, I should try, oh, wow, X5, I should try that. I wonder where my copy of that is, because I remember there was a stage, and I would love to know how to get by it, because James and I played it back in, like, 2006, I think it was, um, and... I remember there was a part where this big firewall comes and we just were laughing because it was like, what are you supposed to do when the giant wall of fire comes? Anybody know what I'm talking about and how do you get by that? X5 is easy as fuck. I've only, I've only played it one time, that one time that I played it with him, so I don't um, know much about that one. 
you are supposed to hide in specific spots. Is that, oh, is that what you do on that? We only played it for a little while. We just remember this big wall of fire coming, and we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> we're just laughing about it. You hide in spots on that part? Okay. Alright, I'll have to, I'll, I'll probably, I should stream that one of these days. What about X6? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I told, I know that I, uh, I streamed a little bit of X7, which is with that crazy, uh, you know, that crazy boss. Flame Hyenard. Flame Hyenard! It's the, I feel like the biggest, I feel like a geek anytime when I do this, any of this nerd culture shit, but like, when I say Flame Hyenard, or anybody on Earth fl saying Flame Hyenard, say that to yourself out loud right now. Don't you feel a little less cool? Even if you're already a nerd, you feel like more of a nerd. Flame Hyenard! And then, uh, yeah, but his his ball, his uh, thing is he keeps saying over and over, burn to the ground, 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 and it just over and over and over and over. And it's, um, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit much. Inventory space is full. Hey, thank you. See, I forget. And you know that I forget. thinking the other day of doing what was I thinking of doing oh no it wasn't a challenge it was um there's a there's a technology have you guys seen this and I've seen it used with Tetris 99 you can get this thing uh, where you can put it on your television and it'll actually look at your eyes and it'll track your eyeballs to where there's like a It'll be like a thing on your screen. I don't know if you can do it with like a CRT or a PVM. It probably has to be like on your computer. Um, so you could probably do it with like a Nintendo Switch game or something. But like it, it tracks your like eyeball movements. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, I should do that with Kaboom on Atari. And then it'd be like the buckets going back and forth. Um, and then you could see the thing like tracking it. Like I wanted to do that, but I don't know that. I think you can only do it like on a PC. And I would never play Kaboom on on a, uh, you know, on a PC, because it, you know, I want to use a CRT or something <laughs> for that. Eye tracker. Oh, but it's annoying. Oh, yeah, and the music boxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there any more of these guys left? Well, you know, I want to be able to hit the guys, so... I'll just use it anyway. I'll just use it now. I just forget. I always forget to get those out of the inventory. Ba da ba bum bum. Anyway, I thought that would be funny, but uh, the idea I had. Uh, I don't think we're ever gonna do this, so I'm just gonna let this one go. So this was an idea for AVGN, and it's. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you a, an older idea that I had. So you guys remember uh, AVGN uh, NES accessories? So we did that video many years ago. And I'd always planned to do, well for one thing I, I wanted to do like another NES accessories because there's more accessories. But anyway, um, I always wanted to do Atari accessories and I thought that that would, I thought that that sounded better too, you know? Atari accessories, it's two A's. Anyway, um, what I wanted to do with that was there was an old, uh, it's, I might have told this story before, and if I did, sorry, but there was an old 
accessory that Atari was going to put out, and I think they never did. And it was called the Atari Mind Link. And so spe- I, this, I thought of this because of the eye tracker thing. And it was just like one of those things that Atari did. You know, they were just throwing crap at the wall uh, and coming up with any idea back then, which was, you know, it was the early days of um, making games and stuff. And it was so cool that back then they would just think of all these different uh, ideas and, you know, they weren't afraid to try things like, tr- like try out, you know, doing, um, you know, the... Um, like the wireless controllers, which actually I thought worked really well. And anyway, so there was the Atari Mind Link, and I could be totally wrong, but from what I read, you know, they didn't put it out and they didn't finish it, but I think they got got it to the point, I'm going off of really old information here, by the way. Um, I think they got it to the point where if you moved your head like a little bit, like it, it would move the, it would move the, I guess, control, controller or something back and forth, or it would move the character back and forth, and I think that's as far as they, they got. But I, I think they wanted to do, to do a lot more with it, probably more like a virtual reality thing or what, whatever they were trying to do. And I thought it would be really funny if we could somehow get an Atari Mind Link. Imagine this. This is a situation. So it's, it's a nerd video, and the nerd would be like, Talking about the different Atari accessories, like there's the steering wheel, and there's all these different things. There's a little controller for like track and field and stuff. And then it gets to, uh, you know, there'd be a section where he'd be like, um, and Atari came out with, uh, or was going to come out with the Atari Mind Link. Now they never sold them, but I got, I got one or whatever. And this is back when I like wanted to try to get one, but I don't know if. Like, it, there's, there's probably one in a museum somewhere or something. I don't even know. But, uh, so he'd put on the Atari Mind Link and he would play Kaboom. And he'd find out, oh, all this thing does. Or, no, I'm sorry, let me back up. He would put on the Atari Mind Link and he would play, like, uh, Pitfall or something. And be like, oh, this thing's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be, like, send me into, like, another dimension or it's gonna be, like, crazy Atari stuff. And then. He puts it on and he plays Pitfall and the character only goes like left and right and he's like, oh, that's disappointing, like that sucks. He's like, wait a second, I got an idea. And then he puts Kaboom in and then then it's, in Kaboom you have to get the bucket to go like back and forth. So it, it turns into him just going, ah! And with the bucket going back and forth because that's all the thing was capable of and that was going to be the end of the video of just him like shaking his head back and forth and screaming with the with the buckets going back and forth so i wanted to do that but uh i don't think we'd ever and and the other thing is i only wanted to do it if we could get a mind link and the mind link actually still worked so there was a uh, there was a lot of if ands and buts about that and then the other part about it was if we got the mind link i'm not even sure exactly what it did do so I could be wrong about the whole thing, but that, that was my idea that'll never happen. So that was an old episode idea. So I wanted to throw that out there since it'll never happen. I don't like to give out ABGN stuff. I really try to keep it all secret, you know, because I like people to be excited when it drops, you know, and like that kind of stuff. But since I don't think that's ever gonna happen, that there's something that uh, probably won't ever happen, unfortunately. So. When shit drops, what? Oh, let me grab one of these. Boop. Elbow Fuckface says he pretends his dick is an Atari joystick. That's great. Thank you for letting us know. We all we all needed to know. There's actually loads of images of the Mind Link online. No, I know there's images of it, and I know that like it's a thing that existed, but like I don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked into it for many many years. So. Why is there a green area in World Six? Somebody mentioned that last time. So the. So this is all an ice world, right? And the and the area that I just went into is like there's grass and it's a green area. But in that green area, the thing that looked like the H, that was all ice blocks. So there's still ice blocks on that area. That was just a sort of a little 
a little bit of a warmer area in the ice area. I actually don't have a problem with that. I think that that's fine. They still had ice cubes in there. You want to see the Bally Astrocade? Oh, man. Let me see. Fine. Let me see if I can find it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So somebody yesterday on the stream was asking me a bunch to sh show the Bally Astrocade. So you guys know I have lots of systems. Um, so I, I grabbed it. Uh, let's take a look at this. So, hi. Uh, and here's the Bally Astrocade. So there you go. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, it's just a, a system that I have. It's cool. Um, You know, it's back then when they had like the, uh, you know, like Fairchild Channel F, which I also have. I've done a Fairchild Channel F stream. Um, I'll take this out. Let me care. I see it. It's like I want to be careful with this. Um, I believe these are the controllers. So we have the controllers here. So the controllers, also kind of in the same vein as the Fairchild. You know, had these sort of vertical controllers. Those are pretty, pretty neat. Um, and like I said, maybe, maybe I'll try to stream this sometime. Uh, but let me, I'll get the actual system out so you guys can see it. And I think I, oh God, I want to say I showed this in something that I did. At some point, I've shown this in some video. I don't remember what. Um, actually, it might. I did a console video. Might have been. Might have been in that. Um, hang on a second. So. And all my games are not in the box. So. Uh, oh no! I'm sorry. They're actually right here. Never mind. There they are. I was like, where are all the games? For one thing, check out, this is the best AC adapter thing I've ever seen. Oh, you probably, can you even see that? I love that Bally logo. Isn't that cool? Just the, that's a cool AC adapter. And then there's the actual system. And the game pops in like this, checks like that. And then uh, there's your games. Fit right in the top like that. Pretty neat. So, I don't know. So maybe we'll stream that sometime and take a look at some of those games or I'll do something on it, I, I don't know. One of the games on it actually uh, is like a TIE Fighter Star Wars clone kind of thing, which is actually pretty interesting. But, so, nice AC adapter they say. Mike, did you get rid of Charlene? So Charlene was my my couch. Uh, li listen, here's the deal with the couch. I know people like, I get angry at the games, and then I hit, you know, I hit, I would slam the couch, and then we nicknamed the couch Charlene. But the deal is the couch was not very comfortable, so uh, it was. It's like a better thing for it's, it's to sit in a chair, basically. For me, I can stream longer and be more comfortable doing these streams that that's the truth about the you know we joke around about the charlene or whatever but um uh it's just i needed to be more comfortable doing the streams so that's it so the couch had to go charlene is in a better place oh wait a second from the form i believe there's two models of the mind link one is operational and the other is not there's a story that one works at the CES show and it fell off the demonstration table and broke at the show. It did not really appeal to people who did not like migraine headaches. For when it did work though, I wonder exactly how it functioned. So they both so they all don't work now though? That's great that you found that information that quickly, by the way. Thank you. So apparently all the mind links don't work now. So now I'm even happier I told that story. So I guess that's never ever gonna happen now. So.
but um, anyway, all right, so. Do I have PCFX? I do. Uh, I think I put that on my Instagram. Uh, I will, um, at some point, I will do a PCFX stream. But that's not going to, I'm not showing that today. I have it, though. If you want to see it, you can look on my Instagram. Okay, I think I've caught up with my with my chat here. All right, let's let's get back to the game. Sorry for that long break. See, I I give my chat what they want though. He wanted to see the Bally Astrocade. You saw the Bally Astrocade. I try to at least <laughs> when I can. I want that. Uh, this is gonna be a you can just walk over it moment. You can just walk over it. There you go. This reminds me of that stage in Super Mario World where you get the key with um, you like jump down and you get the key. You know the one I'm talking about. This is very similar to that. Like it has, it has like water, and it's it looks a lot like this one. You like how Mike passes the pipe to the end every time? Oh yeah, last time I did it, I did that. So you're not, you're right. I did, I did do that. to break that personal best. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's the furthest I made it before. We're getting close to that. Good point. Forgot, let's use this up too. And, I mean, I have this. Hmm. I think that's good enough. I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna go with this. It, right, even if I fail now, <clears throat> if I can at least break that personal best, that would be nice. Nice, got by that. By the way, it's not the stage, it's the pirate ship at the end, just to be clear. Whoa. Ah, ka, 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 ka. Whoa. Stupid. about no death link to the past maybe so I, oh yeah so let's talk about that i was thinking about uh let me double check the whole stage make sure i did, did everything um zelda one no hit and 
I don't know how, like, how many people out there that have even actually done that. So I don't know how possible that is, but that's something I'm interested in trying. I might not be able to do that one. That might be a little too tough. But um, I'd be interested to try it at least and see how far I could get. So I've been thinking about that too. All right, here we go. So if I can beat this one, it'll be the furthest I've been trying this challenge. <clears throat> Zelda 1 no hit is impossible. I don't know about that it's impossible, but I mean, it seems hard though. Anyway. Did I ever see Adventures in Babysitting? Like back very many long, 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 long time ago. Yeah. I don't, it was so long ago I don't remember it. It's probably like the 90s, early 90s. Or whatever. But yes, I have seen it. the Muppets. All right, so there you go. That's the furthest I've been. Let's go to World 7. This is my first time getting to World 7 with this. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Those buttons. Gauntlet no hit. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll be doing gauntlet no hit real soon. <laughs> Alright, here we go, world seven. Imagine the game freezes. I mean, yeah, right, something like that. Shit. I've had enough bad luck and like yesterday this stream crapped out of me. So. I hope we don't have another thing like that because I really just like to get this one done so I can move on to something else, like anything. I mean, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. I want, you know, I like Mario 3. It's fun, but it's, now it's been like three days of this, something like that. So hopefully I make it. We'll see. Yeah, Big World is the fourth one. We're on seven now.
fuck. Oh my god. Man, someday when I try that small only thing, I don't know. <laughs> oh god. I'm having like I'm thinking about how horrible that's gonna be someday. Hey, gotta get that extra life. Don't be like anything's here. Good. Da -da 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 -da. You can't beat every level in Mario Three Small only. You you can't do it. Wait, is there something that makes you become big? Six flying up thing, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. With the thing I don't like. I didn't think, yeah, you're right. So, so you can't uh, do it because of that. So that would be another exception uh, type of stream then. It'd be like everything except this particular stage or whatever. Also, um, this plant here, I think that would be another one where you can't beat it without the star, right? So there'd be two exceptions. So maybe you forget that then? Because that's like one, another one of these, like, you know, you have to have like all these exceptions. All right, well, at least I know that now. So if I, if I did do that, it would be a, fuck, it would be an exception thing. Well, now I know. Thank you for alerting me to that thought. Oh, crap. Mm. All right. Forgotten already. With practice, you don't need to use the stars on the plant level. Oh, really? I'd have to fuck around with that. Oh, this one. I guess Mike missed the 800 times I pointed out the impossibility of seven fortress as small Mario. And wait a second, also seven fortress? So the seven fortress. Uh, so you don't mean the pirate airship, you mean the, the, the like castle thing in the middle also? So, is that, so that's another one that you can't? Uh, now I'm trying to think of why you can't do it for that one. I guess I'll find out when I get there. Sorry, I, uh, if, I, if you kept typing that, I just, I can't read every single thing, you know? I'm also, you know, at this point, really trying to concentrate here to do this, so. 
It's okay, you love me. Love the baby. Love you, baby! <laughs> Elmo is your favorite Sesame Street character as well. Yeah, he's great. His favorite Sesame Street character. Um, I used to like the little, like, uh, I think they're called like the twiddle, twiddle bugs or something like that when I was a really little kid. They, li they lived in like an apartment or something. I remember liking them. I think that's what they were called. And I liked uh, Guy Smiley, the game show host. Those are the characters I actually really liked. Elmo, I actually did, so I really didn't like Elmo as a kid <laughs> because I remember him coming on the show and I'm old enough to remember him not existing. And I thought of it, cause he just, I guess just cause he was red, I kind of felt like he was a replacement for Telly. And then on top of it, he had that annoying like voice. So I always n never really liked him. I, I found him uh, annoying. But I liked Sesame Street. I liked like the Bert and Ernie skits. And I liked I liked most of the stuff on Sesame Street. I liked the Count. Um, I like you know who I liked. I liked those two-headed. Uh, uh, what was that guy, guy's name? The two-headed character, the per that like purple guy who was, had two heads, and he, I liked that guy. I don't remember what he was called. Um, and I liked oh shit. Thank you, God, that that came back. Uh, a lot of that, like, animated skits, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, doo, 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 doo. that whole thing. I like that. Um, I like the typewriter animation. Like, all that stuff I liked. It was really, I, I guess, I mean, there was probably something else on the show I didn't like, but Elmo was, like, one of the things on the show I just, I didn't like Elmo. Ladybug Picnic. Oh, yeah. Thank you, uh, Davron6669, for gifting a sub to Mother Bupper. Appreciate that. The Chef Guys? Chef Guys. I don't remember the Chef Guys off the, off the top of my head. Super teeny, teeny super guy. Yeah, the guy who was, like, on the cup. Interesting. You want me to be, play Spyro? I played Spyro a little bit with um, Tony on stream once. I had, I'd never really looked at it much. I was impressed with the the graphics with it actually, but I think it was kind of like seemed like easy. So I don't know. Thanks, Josh Philly Boy, for the sub. Oh, music. Always seeing it. Funny. I'm upset. I DJ Juice. I do not remember that. Uh, 
Kilp Alt. Uh, I've tried it briefly. Not, not very, very little though. I think it had, it was probably a little bit too much like remembering combos for me. All right, let's get to the next level. Uh, actually, don't I, do I go on this one? Or I never know which pipe to go down here. Pacifist challenge for TMNT. <laughs> Do I even need to use this here? Shit, I don't fucking know. I don't remember. I'm gonna use it. They probably give you one anyway. Shit. Oh no. Come on! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, uh, oh man. Thank you, Jason Fields. I, uh, I thought that was it. Uh, thank you, Jason Fields. Uh, for gifting subs out to uh, Org, Bong Zombie, uh, Rui Duval, and uh, Blueberry Boat, and Calvin GBC, Game Boy Color, I guess. Thank you. If you guys got a gift sub from Jason Fields, let him know you appreciate it. And I do too. Thank you. Whew. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh,. That really threw me for a loop there. Oh, this one. Why did I fucking do that right there? That was stupid. Whatever. Right here, right? Ah, ah, ah. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I'm missing all those extra lives. this shit, okay. It's getting serious here. Sorry, sorry. I know I totally like kind of just went into my own head here for the last few minutes, but uh, I'm like focusing a lot now because now we're getting far. So sorry, I've kind of slowed down when chatting. unaware this is a no death run so this isn't just me you know playing Mario 3 normally this is no if you didn't read the title uh, this is no warps no death so it's a little uh, the odds are you know higher here whatever Mr. 
the fortress you just played is impossible with small Mario. Okay. All right, these stages I'm very concerned about, especially that eight stage. That eight stage might end me. So, I'm trying to even remember what that is and if I should use a fire flower for it or if I should use a, uh, the raccoon thing for it. I'm gonna do seven first, but I'm, I'm actually really concerned about that stage. Let's get this one over with. How did how, that? How do you fucking do that one? Also, not that that was that was the stage I was thinking of. Not that piranha one earlier. That was the one I was thinking of. <sighs> Getting through that small. Oh my god. All right. All right. This next one is the nightmare stage. P wing. How many do I have? Two. I have five. I have five. I'm using the P Wing. No fucking doubt about that. No fucking doubt about that. Please don't pop in and scare me right now. I'm on a very important part. I'm just delivering. Thank, thank you so much. I'm gonna Appreciate quietly it. set it down. I appreciate that. Thank Yay, you. Everything worked out just fine. I'm gonna have a heart attack on this fucking stream. I'm getting near the end, sort of. Well, good. Congratulations. <laughs> Are you streaming? I'm gonna try to. And did you beat Castlevania Symphony of the Night? You did, didn't you? I did. I know that you did, but I'm telling my chat. I did, so now that's over. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's done. Yeah. It wasn't that triumphant. I don't know. Thank you, Melk86. So I'm going to get ready and do something. <sighs> Drink water, he says. I have water. I have wa water as well. <sighs> upside down castle. Yeah, she did the upside down castle. What did you think of the upside down castle? I thought it had cooler enemies. Oh, it's cooler? Yeah, I mean, I used the chrysogram, which is like a sword that makes it seem like you're cheating almost. Oh, but... really? It's like a really powerful sword. Yeah. It's cool. I don't know. I like the... I like the... 8-bit and 16-bit ones better. Aaron, what's your favorite Castlevania game? Dracula's Curse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is called how we talk to each other when we're streaming. <laughs> yeah. Just yelling across the room. What's your favorite game, Aaron? <laughs> well, Mike, I'd have to say Dracula's Curse. Now, what do you think about that answer? Uh, I think that's a damn good answer. Nice! Enjoy Mario 3. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Death, my uh, Moogle. Mike, what's your favorite Mario 3? Um... 
Probably Super Mario Brothers 3. It's probably my favorite Mario 3. Uh-huh. Is this an all stages run also? It is, it is. Uh, I don't know if I have to get through nine to get back to that mushroom house. I do want to grab that, but I'll go through nine first. <sighs> Which I have raccoon, so I'm procrastinating a little bit right now because I'm also, I'm scared of all these stages, so. <sighs> Here we go. I don't remember what any of this, oh, this one. Okay. I don't want to be cocky, but I'm not, uh, I'm not too scared of this stage. So that one, this is fine. <laughs> Here or something. Or maybe don't. I fucking die on this, I swear to God. No, it's this part. that unlocks after the castle. Okay, here we go. Fuck. Fuck. Shit just got real. Okay, great. Fucking shit. We had to fucking do that, huh? Oh, no. See? Oh god, oh god. <clears throat> Please don't. Fuck! to myself anymore. Mm. Oh! Ah! You! Yeah! Ah! ah. Alright. Bonk! Fuckers! Now I'm gonna go back and look. <sighs> Which one takes me to that? I don't know, but I'll just walk around and look for a while. Because I'm, I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god, just get this out of my face. I don't same place. Good. Or I guess it's good. It's just not on top of me again. <sighs> 30 minutes of card games now, right? Let's see if it's this one. I don't know which pipe it is. It's that one. Okay. Okay. 
Just to make sure, I want to make sure I did all the stages. I think I did. Just, I'm gonna double check. I'm, I'm sure I did. I don't think there's anything over there, so I, I think I did. Okay. All right, here comes the castle. Now this one. I don't know if it's better if I have a fire flower or a flying thing. How many things do I have here? I got one, two, three. Three of those left. A lot of fire flowers. I don't know. Use the power glove. There's like flying shit. I tell you what, I'm gonna use this. If I have to get over like big gaps. I don't know if this one's like that. I don't remember. But I, I decided I'm gonna flip it. So. Because I feel like I'm in more danger of an area like that than having to worry about an, an, an enemy. So. Not sure how that. See, it, it does have shit like this. You know what? Now I'm happy I fucking picked this. So good fucking. See? That was a good move. I'm very happy I did that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. or whatever. <laughs> I don't know his fucking name still. I'm never gonna know it. Oh god. Fuck 
unlock this castle. Ship, airship, whatever. vacation sounds good <laughs> especially after um wizard of oz i think it was all after wizard of oz i was just like that's it <laughs> I'm done. I'm so done. i think that just ruined me <sighs> if i'm here in another year it's a, it'll be a miracle um thank you death by moogle i'm getting too old with this shit right Eight one's gonna be tough. All right, guys, here we go. Last world. <sighs> I have a lot of shit here, so I'm gonna use this. Let's go. Honestly, I'm worried about Bowser, too. I actually am not great at fighting Bowser in this game. So, definitely we're actually worried about the very, very end. What if I fucking get to Bowser and die? That'll suck. I hope, I hope that doesn't happen. I'm gonna jinx myself saying that. I'm totally gonna beat Bowser. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. about Bowser. Let's worry about what we're, what we're currently doing here. Oh god. Clonk. Doo 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 doo. said use the p-wing actually that would have that would have been a good idea fuck sorry i wasn't i'm like out of it this is not a good time to not be fully with it let me tell you focus time to focus should i go the top route or do the trick i usually do the trick i'm gonna go the top route Hope it doesn't screw me. Actually, you know what? I think I like doing the top route better. Because <laughs> the bottom route is you gotta keep like tapping the button and. 
I get nervous that I'm gonna like go too low and like get killed underneath the boat. So it's like, I think from now on I might just go up, up top. As long, you know what? I guess that's as long as you have the fucking fire flower though. To be fair. Boom boom. Boom boom boom. Do 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 do. Approaching 1,000 viewers. Really? There's 1,000 people watching this crap? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. All you guys that are in here, I very much appreciate it. I love streaming and I love talking to you guys. Um, this is my favorite thing to do. People ask me, you know, about doing video, YouTube videos and drawing and things like that. I love doing this. This is what I like to do. So I appreciate that so many people are in here. So thank you very much. This part. Get, I just got dragged down to hell. Drag me, drag me to hell. That's where they got the name, right? Fuck. That's not good. Fucker. That should have been an easy kill or whatever. No, oh, I have uh, four. Okay. I'm specifically trying to hit these because I'm trying to do all stages, so. I know you can skip them. I have in the past uh, done where you can, you can skip all three of them. It has happened. I don't know how it's done, but I've done it. Like, accidentally. Sometimes you like land on it and it's. It won't, um, you know, trigger the stage. <sighs> it's. Oh, it's RNG. Is it? I thought there was some kind of method to it. Is it just totally RNG? I actually never knew that. I always assumed it had to do with those, like. Uh, the little squares, how they like change in size. I thought it was like something to do with those. Oh shit. So it has nothing to do with that, huh? Hey, still learning new things about Mario 3. Fuck, all these years later. Knowing full well it can be dangerous to use these on this. I'm, I'm aware. I'm, I'm aware it can be dangerous. the thing was going to happen where it like stops you in the middle and it didn't do that like on the castles oh no <sighs> well that fucked me because you know in a lot of the like uh, the fortresses how you go halfway and the screen like stops you that really threw me off Let's see what we have coming here. I think it's the number one thing, so I'm also gonna use a P-Wing on this next part. 
right there, yeah, so P-Wing. There we go. Fuck the stage, by the way. Yeah, so my chat uh, has told me there's several levels in this game that you have to become Super Mario, Big Mario, to get through. So that's kind of, uh, you know, I didn't realize that earlier because I was talking about, oh, that'd be cool. Kind of ruins that, though. <sighs> World 8. Do, 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 do. Two left. One, two. I think there's a pipe here that blocks you. And you have to go around or something, right? Saving these. Thank you, Princess Peach. Thank you. See, she does, she gives you these. She does something. Thank you. Oh, there's, no pi there's no pipe that blocks it. Maybe I'm thinking of Mario World or something. It might be with the uh, bouncing with the cape or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh,. All right, here's the castle. Um, remember this one. I have one, two, three, four. I have four of those left. There's like what three stages left? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. Fuck it. Oops. I don't know if that's gonna help me at all, but yeah, you know, maybe a little bit. Actually, that was probably a pretty good idea. Now I'm glad I did it. Do I have to jump up there? I didn't mean to go in there. It's that fucking door. Oh yeah. Fuck you, game. But a bum 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 bum. One, two, three. As the owl said. doesn't lead anywhere, right? Where's this go? I just gotta check around. I don't remember. Goes to there. It's just that. It's like nothing. Go to there. Okay. That leads to that pipe. Why? Like, why is that there? Just double checking around, making sure. All right. To skip those three levels. Okay, we got the tank and then the last level, so gonna use a star. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, you know, this is what we're gonna try to do. Try to get through this day, you know. 
That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, but ever do. I don't know what impression that was. It was like a Rocky Fred Flintstone type of deal. Sure, why not? What does it matter? It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Even if I do this right now, guess what? Hate to break the news, doesn't really matter. It'd be nice though. It'll be another feather in my cap. <laughs> Fucking no. Feather in the cap. Really, it'll just go on my blog where I list all the shit that I beat, and I'll be like, okay, Mario 3, no death. And then I move on to the next challenge. That's the reality of it. Um, <laughs> well, I updated the blog again. What's next? All right, here we go. <clears throat> One. Two, three. <sighs> Almost there. Over 1,000 viewers. I see 1,000. Hey, 1,000 viewers. Thanks for coming in. And like I like to say, you don't have to like, subscribe, follow, comment, or hit the bell. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Fall asleep. Uh, whatever you decide. Oh, I should have used a fucking, uh... I just went right into the last level without even, like, really fucking considering anything. That's really stupid. Probably should have at least put a fucking star on. Would have run out by now anyway, so whatever. It'd be gone right now. <laughs> Motherfucking shit. Let's get that extra guy. Make sure you get that. It's so important. Uh, it really sucks that I just lost that. Not gonna lie, it's not good at all. And I don't think there's any extra things, so that's not fucking good. It's actually really, 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 really bad. And I think there is another one you can get. Actually, no, it's right there, isn't it? Too late. Too bad, so sad. Why do you have these hoodies here? So it'll wipe off my <laughs> sweaty hands. <sighs> there you go. That took forever. Oh, I gotta go in the door. What if I didn't go in the door? She's crying. That's how I feel. I feel like I should cry. 
It's, a, it's the sprite from Mario 2. I think the pupils are different. Wow, chat just lit up. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, I am Sock, for gifting a sub uh, to the community. He gifted subs out to XR420, Gutan Clan, Count Pupper, Barrel Roll 706, and Joan5. Thank you very much, I am Sock21. Um, I appreciate that. Um, guys, thank you. Um, that was, I'm like a little trembly there. <sighs> I get like that at the end of these things. This gets intense. But, um,. So, so recently we did uh, Super Mario Brothers 1, got through the whole game. I didn't do Loop 2 yet though. And I did, uh, we just did DuckTales No Death. Not nearly as hard, but um, that was cool. So uh, more challenges to come. 